Okay, so today's tutorial is gonna be for this peach applique, which you can see I've attached to this bucket hat that I've created. And I'm planning on sharing the pattern for the bucket hat at a later time. But I wanted to make a separate video for just this peach applique because I figured it's, you know, getting close to spring and I figure folks maybe want to make some peaches to attach to really whatever they like. So let's go ahead and get started with this simple pattern. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with that peach, the body of the peach itself. And we're gonna begin working with this sort of peach colored yarn. You can use a light pink or a dark pink too. I find those look just as good. And we're gonna begin by forming a magic ring. All right, so once we have our magic ring formed, we're gonna place six single crochet stitches inside of the magic ring. And don't forget to work over your tail as that's the part that we're gonna to pull to close round one. So six single crochet stitches. All right, I've got all six in my magic ring. I'm gonna pull the tail to close off round one. And then for round two, we're going to increase in each of the six stitches from round one. I'm also gonna mark the first stitch of the first increase. So two single crochet stitches in each stitch. That wraps up round two, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull my magic ring tail really tightly one last time. And since this is an applique, and we're gonna be sewing it onto the surface of our work, I'm gonna trim the magic ring tail. All right, so for round three, we're gonna add the shaping to the outside of this circle we've created to make it more peach shaped. So we'll begin by taking our marker out and placing one slip stitch in the first stitch of the round. I'm gonna mark that slip stitch as well. Then in our next stitch, we're going to make a single crochet increase. So two single crochet stitches in the next stitch. Next up, we're gonna make a half double crochet. So to make a half double crochet, we're gonna yarn over. So wrap the yarn around our hook then go through our next stitch We'll yarn over again and draw through the fabric of our work. Then yarn over and draw through all three remaining loops left on our hook. And that forms a half double crochet. Then in the next stitch, we're gonna do a half double crochet increase. So what we just did, but twice in the same space. So there's my half double crochet increase. Next, we're gonna make one double crochet. So we're gonna start off the same way we did for our half double crochet, yarn around our hook, go through our next stitch, yarn over and draw through the fabric of our work. Then rather than pulling through all three stitches, we're gonna yarn over and pull through two loops on our hook, then yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops on our hook. That's how we make a double crochet. Then we need to do a double crochet increase. So in the next stitch, two double crochet in the same stitch. All right, now that I've got my double crochet increase done, I'm going to chain one stitch. So I'm just gonna yarn over and pull straight through the loop on my hook. And then in the next stitch of the round, I'm gonna place one double crochet. In the stitch after that, I'm going to double crochet increase. After that double crochet increase, I'm gonna make a half double crochet. So remember, we're pulling through three loops on a half double crochet. Then we'll make a half double crochet increase. In the next stitch, we'll put one single crochet stitch. And then in the last stitch of the round, we're going to make a single crochet increase. And that takes us all the way around our peach and we're almost done. We have a few more things to do. So you can see this down here is like kind of the point of the peach, it's gently pointy. We're gonna add like a ridge to the top of the peach as well by slip stitching into that first slip stitch that we made and marked. So just slip stitch straight through there. And 
And then we're going to add some slip stitches down through the stitches up to the center of our magic ring. So the way I like to add these slip stitches, I sort of swing the peach around so that I'm looking kind of down at the point. And then I'm going to go through the round underneath, so that just where we were increasing in each stitch, round two. I'm just going to go through the space that's closest to my hook, and I'll grab my yarn and draw it up, and then slip stitch tightly. And then I'm going to do that one more time going into the magic ring opening. So kind of just push my hook through and then make one final slip stitch. Which sort of gives it that heart shape. So once we've got that final slip stitch made, I'm going to cut a tail. We want one that's long enough to attach our peach to whatever it is we're going to be putting the applique on. So leave yourself a little extra. I usually do about a foot because you can always trim extra, but you can't add more. So then the last thing we need to do to fasten off is we're going to pull this loop on our hook, our slip stitch, all the way until the yarn comes out. And then we're going to tighten that loop down by pulling the tail we just cut. And you can see that forms the shape of our peach. We also need to send this tail to the back so that we can hide it a little bit and then also use it to sew. So I'm going to thread the end of that tail through my tapestry needle here. And I'm going to send the tail down through that same stitch that we slip stitched to in the center of that magic ring. I'm just going to sew it straight through the back. And pulling tightly I can kind of pull that slip stitch into the hole of the magic ring. And then just to set myself up for success later, whenever I finally decide what I'm going to be attaching this to, I'm going to weave the tail over so that it's flush with the outside of our peach. So I'll just slip it in the back sides of some of these stitches here. It's woven in and easier for me to start sewing when it's time to attach. All right, you can unthread your tapestry needle. Let's move on to the leaves. All right, I'm ready to make the leaves, and I'm using this key lime color. And for folks who maybe have watched some of my other videos, this leaf is the exact same leaf that I make on my peach plush. I'll go ahead and put a link to that video in here in case you want to make a three-dimensional peach. But we're going to begin by tying a slip knot with a really long tail. And the reason we're having it with a long tail is because we're going to be using both the tail from the slip knot and the tail that we cut whenever we're done crocheting to tie the applique's leaves onto the applique itself. So the way I like to tie my long tailed slip knots is I reserve myself about six inches or so of that tail and then I'm going to kind of wind the tail around my finger making kind of a loop. So I sort of fold the tail behind my working yarn and then I'm going to lay that tail over that loop and the idea here is that we're going to draw that tail through this loop like so. I tie them this way though because I like that they tighten whenever you pull the, see I'm pulling the working yarn and it doesn't actually tighten the loop, which is great because when I start crocheting it's not going to make this tighten down. It only tightens when you pull the tail, which means we can tighten our slip knot after we add a bunch of stitches to it. Alright, so once you've got that long tail slip knot on your crochet hook, we're going to begin by chaining four stitches. And remember, the loop on your hook doesn't actually count as a stitch, so you want to make sure you've got four chains that doesn't count that loop. Then once you've got your four chain stitches made, we're going to start in the second chain from our hook. And again, remember, this doesn't count as a stitch. So in that second chain, we're going to place one single crochet stitch. Then in the remaining two chain, this one here and technically our slip knot, we're going to slip stitch. Which takes us all the way down the chain. Then we're going to repeat that same process by chaining four more stitches. And in that second chain, we're going to add one single crochet stitch. 
and then slip stitch in the remaining two chain. And then to bring these leaves together, I like to slip stitch through the outside of the slip stitch we made the last one on the first leaf and through a little bit of the slip knot itself. And the way I do that is I kind of grab this little loop here and then that far side loop there and then I'm just going to slip stitch through that. I also like to hold onto the leaves while I pull the slip stitch. So I'm just going to pull through everything left on my hook. Which kind of brings these two leaves together. Then we're ready to go ahead and cut a tail. And I make my tail the same length as my slip knot tail. So we're going to pull both tails through our last stitch. So just yarn over with both of them and slip them straight through and keep pulling, pulling until they go all the way through. And then we're going to tighten both separately. The slip knot and the tail we just cut. So that forms the leaves for our peach applique. Let's get them attached. All right, so I have the leaves and I have the peach applique and I'm ready to get them attached. All right, so to attach the leaves to the applique, we're gonna start by taking one of the tails and laying it behind our peach. And that one's just gonna hang out at the back of the peach. And this other tail we need to thread through our tapestry needle. And I'm going to sew it so that it goes down through round three's slip knot. So it's the one at the very edge of the peach. And then when I've done that, I can unthread my tapestry needle and I'm going to flip my peach over and I'm going to tie these two tails together. So just like you would if you were starting your shoe, I'm going to tie one square knot, tighten it pretty firmly, and then I'm going to make it a double knot actually, just to make sure these leaves don't fly off on me. And that attaches the leaves to the top of the applique. And since we're going to be attaching the applique directly to the fabric of another piece, we don't even need to weave these tails in either. We can just give them a trim so that they're short, and then when it comes time to sew the peach onto whatever it is you're sewing it onto, all you need to do is just make sure these tails are hidden behind the fabric of the peach. So as you sew, you can just sew around. I don't even tack the leaves down whenever I attach. All right, so that wraps up this peach applique. Thanks for watching.